Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the custom media header type in VP Residence team. The VP Residence team allows you to set a global header for all pages, posts, properties, property categories and other pages, but you also can set a different header type for each page. In this video I will show how to manage a different media header type for each page. You can set a media header type from the team settings or you can create a custom one using Elementor plugin. First, I will explain the options available from the team for the media custom type. And next, I will show how to create a custom media header using the Elementor plugin. This is a page created with the Elementor plugin, but the header section is set from the team options. To see the settings, you will need to edit the page and scroll down to appearance options here. The settings here will apply only for this page. The header media type can be selected from this section. You will have here these options available. You can choose global. This means that the settings from team options will apply. You can disable the header on the page by selecting none. You can select image, team slider, revolution slider, google map, video header and the last option will apply only for property pages. I will start explaining each option. The first option is global. This means that the global settings from team options will apply. I will show where in team options you can find the settings for header type. I will open team options. You will need to go to general header and here you will have this option media header type with all these options available. The global header will be explained in another video tutorial. So I will go back to my page and show the other options available. The next option is none. When none is selected, you will need to disable the advanced search over the header as well. I will save the change. And now in the page, the media header will not show anymore. Going back, the next option is image. You'll have the option to upload the image that you want to show as header. I will upload an image. You can select one from media or upload one from your device. I will select one from my device. I will press insert into page. And next you will have other options. You can set the image to be full screen or not. You can set the full screen background type. You can choose between cover or contain. You can add a title over the image, add a subtitle. You can set the image height, set an overlay color and set opacity for that color. I will quickly fill in all these options. I will set the image height. I will select an overlay color and I will set the opacity for that color. I will save the changes that I made. And now on front end, I will have the image that I uploaded. I will have the text that I added and the other settings will apply. Going back, if you want to display the advanced search over the header, you will need to enable it here and you will need to set the search position. I will set it to float and also add a value for the distance between search form and the top margin of the page. I will save my changes. And now I also have the search displayed over the header. For the image header, you will have additional settings in team options. I will show them. In the same section in the header one, you will have the option to enable a parallax effect for the image. Currently it is enabled, so you can see that the parallax effect is applying. Going back, next you will have change texture over header with user location. This option will work only for the image header and if set to yes, you will need to add here the text that will be visible on home page and the parameter city will be replaced with the location of the user. The user will be able to see the text with his location automatically detected. I will save the changes and now in the page you will have find a home in London and London is the user location. These are the settings available for the custom header set as image. I will go back to the back end of the page. The next header type is team slider. I will select it and save the changes made. The team slider needs to be set in team options, I will show where you will find the option in general team slider. Here you will need to select from this list the properties that will show in the slider. In my page, I will have the team slider set as page header and it will display the properties that I selected 
in team options. Going back to the page backend, the next header type available is Revolution Slider. I will select it and save changes. This type will work with the Revolution Slider plugin. You will need to create a slider with this plugin and add here the Revolution Slider name. I will go back to admin. I will go to slider revolution section here. Using this plugin, you can create your own slider with images, videos, and other elements. I have a slider already created. To find the slider name, you will need to press edit. And this is the name that you need to copy in the page. So I will copy this. I will go to my page backend. I will add it here and I will save the changes made. The header on the page was changed to the one that I set. You'll have the slider that was created with the Revolution Slider plugin. Going back to the backend of the page, next you'll have the option to set the page header as Google Map. Once this header is selected, you will need to add the map landing coordinates. You will need to add them here. If Google Maps is set on the page as custom header, the settings in Team Options will not apply. So they will need to be done here. You need to add landing coordinates. You will need to set zoom level, height of the map when closed, height of the map when opened. You also can force the map to open at close size or force the map at full screen size. I will save the changes. The page header is now a map. This is a general map and if in the location that you set as landing for this map, you will not have any properties placed, then the map will not show any pins. So to have a map as header with property pins, you need to set the coordinates that you have set for your properties. Going back to the page settings, the next header type is video header. Once you select it, you will have the option to upload a video. You can upload a video with different format. I will add one with MP4 format. I will upload one from my device. I will click insert into page. You will also have other options. You can set the video to be full screen. You can add text over the image and subtext. You can set the video height overlay color and the color opacity. I will add quickly values for each field. And now I have as page header the video that I uploaded. Going back, the last option here will apply only for properties. I will show how this works as well. So I will select one property. I will click edit property to go to the backend settings. I will scroll down to appearance options. Here I will select virtual tour only for properties. The virtual tour will need to be added in property media and documents section. I will pass a virtual tour code here. I will save the changes. And now on front end, the property will show as header a virtual tour. I will go back to my page. You need to be aware that for the header options from the team, the ones here, you can set an advanced search. The advanced search that will show on the team header type will need to be managed from team options. I will show, I will go to backend and go to VP residence options search. And here you can manage the fields and other settings for the team advanced search, the one that will show on the team media header. In advanced search form, you can choose the advanced search type. You can make many settings and also you can manage the fields that will show in the search. You can enable the multi-selection option for taxonomies. You can manage the advanced search colors and make many other settings. These are the options available for the team advanced search and for the team media header. Next, I will show how to create a media header using Elementor. On this page, I have a header that is already created with Elementor and I will show how it was built. For this page, the team media header was set to none. I will show. I will go to the back end of the page and under appearance options, you will see that the header type is set to no. I will go back to the page and next, I will need to edit the page with Elementor. The header section was already created. For that, a container was added. The container was set to be full width. We set a minimum height. And in style section, you can select the header type. You can set it to be classic and upload the image that you want to show as header. You can set it as gradient and set the colors that you want. 
you can set it as a video and add here the video that you want to run in the header or you can create a slideshow and upload here the images that will be part of that slide. I will start with the classic type. Here you can upload images and you can make settings. You can set position, the repeat type and display size. In background overlay you can set a color as overlay and also set the opacity. Also in advanced you can make settings for the section position. You can add margin values, padding and make other set. I will save this type of header and on front end you will see the image and the other settings that were made in Elementor editor. Going back I will select the video type. Here you can add the link of a video from YouTube or Vimeo or you can add the link of a video that is self-hosted. I will set this header with a video self-hosted in my domain. For that I will need to go to admin media. Here you will need to upload the video that you want to display in the header. You will need to select the video and copy the link here. I will go back to the Elementor editor. I will pass the link here. You can set the start time, the end time. You can set the video to play only once. You will have the option to choose if the video will play on mobile or not. And also you can make other settings. I will save the changes made. And on front end, you'll have the video that I just uploaded. Going back, and the last type is a slider. Here you can choose the images that will be part of the slider. You can change order. To add new images, you will need to click Add to Gallery. You can select images from media or upload ones. I will select two more images from media. You'll need to click Add to Gallery and insert gallery. Next you'll have options like infinite loop. If enabled, the images will scroll over and over. You can set the duration of each slide. You can set the transition. You can set the background size, position. You can enable lazy load and make other settings. Once you are done with the background type, you can add more elements over the background. You can add text using handy widget or text editor and also on Elementor headers you can add a search using the search for a builder for Elementor widget. This is the one. For Elementor headers the, the search settings from team options will not apply and you will need to create your search using this widget. You'll have the option to enable tabs to set the fields that you want and make many other settings. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.